everyone! Welcome hey. back to our reactions for Ruby Volume 6. This is Episode 3. So far, Ruby has been hitting us with two really good episodes, and this... Eh, we'll see. Apparently, there's some mixed reviews on this one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> from a lot of people we That's trust. That's right. Ru Ruby, fans are, Ruby fans are dumb. It's fine. <laughs> We're Ruby fans, you idiots. <laughs> self, except self deprecating for, except jokes. Except for the people watching this video, you Well, all we fine. all know that I'm yeah. the smartest man on the universe, so let's just get right fucking yeah. into it. Jeez. All right, well, I think we've put it off long enough, gents. 26 uh, fucking minutes. I have high hopes. Let's see what they're going to do. All right. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Go. All right. All right. Rooster Teeth! Rooster Teeth with uh, I love this first subtitle. Oh, yeah. I gotta oh, love that upbeat rock. rock music. Let me turn off yeah. the closed captions right there. Actually, you know what? I'll leave them on so that I can actually... You can no, leave them on. We need them. We yeah, need them. Because need we over-talk over everything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, what, what, are what are they gonna do wrong? What are they gonna do wrong? Um, everything? Uh, How are they gonna the mess this yeah. up? They got a good ball rolling. What could they... Yeah, okay. What could happen? They're going to make my, Ozpin my, too sympathetic. My question is, what do you think Salem's going to be? Do you think they're going to take the, like, she was, like, a former, like, like uh, political position of power that Ozpin deposed because he disagreed with her? I think, do you think that she's going to be, like, a scorned lover? I think or she's going to be, Or do you think she's like, going to be, like... If any of you have seen uh, the Disney movie Maleficent, you know, the really yes. rubbish uh, live action, they're going to try and I go that it. kind of route, where uh, she she was once good and just and fair, but evil humanity has scorned her oh, too many and, uh, times. Mm, and and, like and Tom, you just confirmed why you die in the first after the first act. Yeah, <laughs> <I like> <laughs> we just <laughs> kill Tom for his rubbish <laughs> opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen the. Live I haven't seen Maleficent. it either. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just poking, I'm poking your. Listen, there are way worse things in my life I have done than like the Maleficent movie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like, now we're take, done with the. Like take a dump while on stream. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, episode starting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did we tell Brit? We didn't tell Brit that happened. Did we? After, if you will. Oh. oh, was it Ozpin? Freedom. <laughs> Freedom! It's Tangled! We're just gonna watch Tangled now! Wait, everyone can wield magic? No, no, what, what, ah! what? So wait! What? The fuck? It's, it's a lie? That episode... Hero, ep episode 8 was a lie? The first Ozpin. Those who had come before, this warrior was not driven by the prize of the young maiden's hand. He was gay. His pure heart and courageous soul. Well, he does like little boys. Oh, he was, shit! He was <laughs> Deus vaulting his way through the castle. <laughs> and yet, something bound okay. together. her freedom not in the outside world she had yearned for but... so where she from the outside world <laughs> that she yeah, yearned really. for <laughs> planned adventures around the world oh oh how cute <laughs> and lived happily ever after i want to find out that this isn't like a former Ozpin host at all <laughs> God damn it, Mom. Why didn't you vaccinate me? <laughs> Gods, brothers of light and darkness, creation so. and destruction. Yeah, we got it. The justice that had befallen her love and make things right. People die. 
people die when people they're killed. Die when they are killed. So we're in the plane of like light right Is now. Is she gonna corrupt this place? It looks like she's gonna corrupt this place. His fountain, life and creation. She's about to make a lich. Oh, it's like the Garden of Eden. Like, you don't disturb oh, this Does place. everybody else seeing tearing? No. Like, do people just see... You didn't see any vertical tearing right there? No. Oh, but I noticed. Uh, no. Okay. Are we going to see the god? Oh, hey, it's Xerneas. That is a lame god. Or at least an avatar of that Wait, god. Wait, did they just rip off a... Uh... So I'm uh, Jesus. Fuck. Princess Mononoke. <laughs> you demand of me that which I cannot make so. Yep. Balance. So you want to disrupt the cycle of but that's not fair. This wasn't the cycle of life, though. This was a random disease that took him. Uh, uh yeah. I mean, d disease is a cycle. It's part of the cycle. How did, how did she get there? Magic. Oh, I, I guess it's just, there's a, a shrine, I guess. The God of Darkness. <clears throat> As men knew what monstro It is I, Skeletor! Quick! Someone hand me your stick! I need to get up. Oh, really? Oh, such a crick in the back. <laughs> Two thousand oh. years! <laughs> Oh, God. okay, um... He's upside wait, down wait. as fuck. Answer her prayers. All while careful to make no mention of his elder. And let your faith in me be rewarded. Oh, the frame rate just dipped. Oh. Hey, he's back! Man, evil's pretty sweet. Yeah, no, I never said that. <laughs> I have done what I please, brother. You may Is that the chairman? This That's true. Dramatic music. No. Don't I don't feel, feel so, so good. good, Salem. God damn it. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean... <laughs> poor poor Ozpin, man! He's like, and I'm back, and I'm gone, and I'm back. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> All right, I'm liking this god better. All right, here oh, we go. Shenron versus Tiamat, let's go. <laughs> so why do you get to control her? <laughs> what a cunt. <laughs> Oh, okay. To correct my mistake. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Jeez. You you were cheating. You were cheating. Bitch. <laughs> 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 
Lady, you do not know who you're up against right now. You are up against very two. literal gods! Both two gods. I have been falling for <laughs> 30 minutes! Yeah. Like... She's fine. <laughs> See? The fuck? You can't, you, you, you can't die from hitting water. That doesn't make any sense. I have made you immortal. What? Smart. You cannot be with your beloved. Genius. Oh. So long as this world turns, you shall. Okay. <clears throat> Salem was a prisoner once again. Okay, all right. Like with Ozma, eventually became nothing more than acts of spite and defiance against the gods. So how how did Ozpin come back? So we'll see how that's Was that even Ozpin? <laughs> Turned them against one another. They Please tell me she doesn't have a hole in her shirt. What the hell? Light and darkness. She could rid herself of their curse. Or at the very least. Well, so she's trying dead. to play some gods against each other. Mortality from the gods. Welcomed any swordsman to cut her down and demonstrated her power. Oh, she pulled them deeper into her skin. She painted them pictures mm. of a time when they Oh Wither and die. When they could claim the powers of their creators for themselves. And in turn So I wonder why I wonder why God didn't just come down like, hey, stop it. <laughs> hey <laughs> You stop that. <laughs> hey, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are fucked. <clears throat> Sup, bitches, I'm back. Also, how did I get back in here? I thought you guys locked me out. I stole the key. Suspenseful music. This is just a raid boss. <laughs> oh, and that's how there's no magic. Interesting. I'm down with this. Same. I'm actually really liking this. Dude! Oh, oh my well, god! Oh. All the CGs are getting wiped out! Oh no! No, no all of the still oh, images. No. Oh fuck! <laughs> they infinity ward us! Now we're gonna make you ugly. New army. You do not what rest of the? There is no one. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Are all that remains of humanity. This planet. But it is merely a remnant of what it once was. Hey. Ha. Huh. Bitch, we out. <laughs> Wait, was that the moon? Whoa! Oh, fuck you, moon. So now we know. <laughs> By the way, we're taking a bit of the moon. Uh, oh <laughs> shit! Oh, so this is how the planet got like separated and split. Oh, up. those are those are just flat out like normal animated. <laughs> how does Ospin know all this, and why is he hiding it from? Well, the no, it, it, they're not asking Ospin. They're asking. No, no, no they're Jean. asking that's, what Ospin that's what I mean, is hiding. Like, but why is? I assume would, he yeah. asked the djinn as well? I guess. Yeah. That makes sense. I guess. So why are the Grimm still here? They're not human. Oh, hey. 
brothers grim, the pools of nightmares. If the fountain Wait. of life granted her immortality, then surely the That's very irresponsible. I think after a few hundred years, you kind of get desperate. I meant, no, no, in the sense that the gods just left that behind. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> Man, Ospin has just been oh. yo-yoed. Like, dead alive, yeah. dead alive, dead alive. <laughs> He's like, this shit is lame. <laughs> wait, if everyone died, how did humanity well, come to be? Wait, but why did the gods leave the relics if there was no one except Salem to... to do, do anything with them. Sub. It's in heaven, bro. It's pretty lit. I'm afraid to tread. Because of my brother. Yeah, kinda, it was me. Kind of killed everyone. Actually, it was my brother. Kind of killed everyone. <laughs> but in our absence, return to it. Hey. It's funny that Colleen is voicing this because this is like the plot of Ren, basically. How? Evolution. They will be but a fraction of Mankind's progress. dead, but monkeys are still around. <laughs> the gods <laughs> created evolution? This changes everything. Oh, relics. <laughs> Wait, there are only three. No, oh, he's... What was the fourth one? I didn't oh. hear him. That you may learn to remake your Weiss is totally going to get that sword. It's... It's destruction, creation, choice, and knowledge. Summon my brother and I back to your world. I knew it. They are the Dragon Ball. <laughs> okay. Okay. Learn to live in harmony with one another and set aside their differences. Then we shall once again will be made whole what? again. But so Ospin knew this and he locked the relics away in separate places anyway. Because humanity wasn't ready. That's true. Whole faunus racism shit. Yeah, See, that, that's a, uh, right there. Yeah. That makes sense. It's like, yo, we're not ready yet. This is... This is really dumb. Dear to me. If I may, I'd rather return to the afterlife to see Salem. Ha ha! Ha! You mean, she isn't gone? Salem lives. <clears throat> Heed this warning. Where you seek comfort, you will only find. So, will you? I'll do it. Very well. Within your hands. The pact is made. So I have two questions, I guess. But I'll uh, save except that for your, a while. Uh, except your curtis, uh, uh, your courtesy antlers. So these are the new humans. It, that would also explain why Faunus evolved alongside them, because they were all that was left. Oh, wait. Did they just... Oh, this is Ozpin now. This is just him. Oh! Remembering the, the hero. Tell me your name. Stab! in a world completely unfamiliar to him. Creatures known as the Faunus bore fangs and claws and were locked away in cages. And without the... ...perform magic like mankind was once capable of. No one but himself. The Witch. Hello. During his years of travel, spoke of a terrifying sorceress who commanded dark powers in the wilds among Ozma was convinced that this witch was Salem and dis 
It was really Oprah Winfrey. No, no, is this... Glinda? <laughs> That'd be a twist. No, oh, no, it is Salem. Call it ma But in that moment, the two knew exactly who it was that stood before them. What do we do now? Whatever we like. Events which had brought them back together, each withheld parts of their story. Salem fearing the world on the gods. Ozma still unsure of where the Well, lay. to be fair. <laughs> Though time passed and all seemed well. <sighs> conversation with the god of light. Humanity seemed more divided than ever before. It is quite literally godless. These humans have no one to guide them. What are you saying? We could become the gods of this world. Fair. Souls transcend. <laughs> We're immortal. We can mold these lands into whatever we want. Guide and mold are different ways. <laughs> yeah, really. Are easily swayed by that hot booty. Ospin failed. No, not November. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> This volume is kind of squicky. <laughs> Yo, that was cool! When do semblances come into play? Well, this, I don't know, but this is more out of fear than... The two amassed a following. Kingdom. And at the head of that kingdom blossomed... Oh. oh, those are the maidens, I think. Oh. Uh, they had quadruplets. So he straight up lied about the the wizard story. Wait yeah. a minute! Wait a minute! Retcon! No, 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 oh, no, no, no! The fucking family is our team Ruby descendants of that. Oh, if they are, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, honey. <laughs> cool your jets. This isn't what he asked of me. Mother, father, look. It was for magic. But what should have been a joyous occasion was short lived. I mean, he had his lifetime, if that makes him feel Ozma better. told Salem everything. The true reason the God of Light had brought him back. World. And the day of judgment he had been told to prepare for. It matters anymore. Why spend our lives trying to redeem these humans when we can... ever be? That's a stretch. You were human too once. <clears throat> I guess that's all gone now. I mean, she she saw effectiveness come, come from ruling through fear. Oh, their heads! Oh, that girl's head is like oh. huge. Oh fuck! It's <laughs> <That's> gross. <laughs> they look so <laughs> weird and dumb. Wait, so Dramatic why are they now music. fighting? They're fighting because, now. Okay. Because Ozpin's <laughs> going to fulfill his destiny and not not just the men, but the women and the children too. We're not. We're not. We can't actually show you this fight scene, but uh, we'll sure as hell show I, you. Oh, wow, see, it's dollars, very interesting bro. how they're how they're integrating uh, traditional animation with this. A little, yeah. yeah. Like for the... that looks all traditional. And the frames are so. Oh shit. So she can't die, and he keeps coming back. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> oh, that was funny. Some lives were spent in mourning. Many. But no matter what, his mind would eventually turn back to the task he had been burdened with. On Ozma began to learn the importance of living with the souls with which he had been paired. What? He lived. Her presence was always felt. If humanity were ever just having a casual dinner and everyone's dying outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to be fair, like an invasion of a town that? can happen really quickly. Or through any mortal means, Ozma sought out the power of the relic. Fulfilled his promise to the god of light. Oh crap, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no, it looks like a friend of mine, actually, not me. He asked me his question. What powers do they possess? And though I gave him favor, not all of them were to his liking. You can't. All you gotta do is just make the world right enough to pass judgment, and then uh, the gods can sort it out. Is that it? That's it. That's gonna oh, be that's it. The end of the episode. Uh, so that's a lot to take in. Woo. You know, you know, backstory. Holy shit, backstory! Uh, Yay! Yeah. All right. You know what? You know, guys. On the surface, we've, um, on the surface, I accept this. I'm actually yeah. okay with this. You know, guys, I've had a nice break. You know, the last couple episodes, I've been enjoying everything. You know, it's been fun just to enjoy Ruby again. Did you nice not enjoy break. this one? Break time's over. I don't know. Let's I see. I think I actually liked this. I don't. None think of was... that was Ospen's fault. True. But, we uh, spent I'm... years on this this shady Ospen shit, and literally the only crime he committed was dying, which wasn't oh, no, his a choice. Lot of, a lot of the shady Ospen shit was based around how much he just lies and manipulates people, which he does. Because he, he like this yeah. whole point is that we finally got to found out what he was hiding in his closet, and he was ashamed it wasn't that his he fault. partially. Well, I mean, he 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 was complicit in a lot of that shit with Salem. He was and like, yeah, fucking... let's let's rule the world for a while. Let's be gods, you know. <laughs> like I, I get what you're going for, in that you don't think he was vilified, but I I mean, I, I don't I, see how. Yeah, I, I agree with Britt on this one. I I, I think and, in this circumstance. Salem! Because it wasn't necessarily things, like, it wasn't why, you know, what has Ozpin done? The, the question wasn't, what has Ozpin done that's so bad? The question was, what is he hiding from us? And the fact that he was basically sleeping with the fucking devil! Who, I should say, we need to point this out, her entire motivation for everything was because she got denied dick. <laughs> no. I mean, that was okay, the point! This is one of the classical points of literature where it's man versus god, or wooden, or woman. The gods are the god villain of the series. This, this the, the poor gods, woman. No, no, no. The this gods poor are woman. Indeed. This poor what? woman visited the god of dark. This woman who lived life in isolation is now cursed with immortality because she was tricked. The gods even, never even said it was please. fair. Who said the then, gods were fair? Then this poor, then this poor woman descended into evil, and instead of just punishing that one woman. They just wipe out all of existence, even the ones who had nothing okay. to do with what the fuck she wanted, she was trying okay. to do. Here's, here's, here's what you're missing out on. The reason no. for the, let's call it the Thanos snap, because it's funny, um, was because the gods recognized that humans, like Salem said, could easily be swayed, and that the magic that can harm the gods, I suppose, were being used against them. The gift that these gods have given to humans to exist, it's a pretty fine gift. Uh, is now being turned against them and like, you know what? You are ungrateful children. We out. By the way, we're blowing up the moon. Um, uh, well, I'm going to post this because it's more relevant than ever. Here's the one so... thing Here's the one thing that the gods, I believe, are a little askew on. Uh, Brit, Immortality. You're, you're, you're cutting out pretty yeah. hard. Okay. I, I, I assumed. You're Robo Man. <laughs> Leave the call Hello? and come back. Sure, I'll try. We'll see how it goes. 
So the thing that annoys me is that the gods created humanity, but like then they just evolved <laughs> later anyway. Okay, no, here, 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 here's, yeah, here's where, the thing. Look, where's Aura? Where's Semblance? What was the origin of the Forest? Stop, guys, guys, guys wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not stopping! This is bullshit! Because I at least have some answers. Because it okay, goes go back to it. fucking, like, Christian Christian stuff. Because, like, I I have studied religion. I, I have had to study religion for years. Oh, because all the Catholic 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 school Hello? for my entire life. I know so, yeah, you're back. Listen. Catholic, uh, Catholic doctrine accepts evolution. So this means if you can accept that God in, in the theological sense in the modern day, his creation of humanity was not literal, but figurative in that he didn't directly create humanity. Everything is shaped after his own image. Humanity I mean, evolved. Humanity evolved because God invented evolution. Effectively, if you, that's very simplified, but that's effectively it. So the gods sure. in this circumstance invent evolution. Humanity evolves. They're like, yeah. "Hey, cool! This is a pretty cool thing going on." This bitch shows up. Hey, she's being kind of a bitch. You're immortal. Everyone else is dead. Let's start from a you know base one. See how it goes the second time around. And that's where humanity and faunus come from. So yeah. that makes sense to me. That makes complete utter sense. You're right about semblances. I want to hear about where that comes from. Well, here's the thing. I'm glad that they didn't try and force every single thing into this story. Yes. I'm glad that semblances are a completely different thing subject from the gods and, like, uh, this history with <laughs> Ozpin and Salem. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm glad that's a thing. Um, no, I... I, I the gods... The opposite. Uh, with, with one of these, like, kinds of stories where it's god versus man... There is an inherent responsibility in the gods where you kind of have to figure out how they're being portrayed. Because these gods, they don't seem to be omnipotent. In the sense that they were able to be turned against each other. Even even if it was brief, you know. Yeah, they're less gods, more, like, creators. They're more, yeah, they're creators, not gods. Um, yeah. He's a man, not a god. So, so, sorry, that was, that was from the Rambo yeah. video game. But, yeah, um... Yeah. I, I remember the, um... You know the the old adage, uh, Smith think, and Wesson weren't bulletproof. I think it like here's the thing: if the gods just wanted Salem to live forever, why did they leave behind the the pool of infinite darkness and the pool of infinite light? Because they're assholes, both of them. <laughs> they're both assholes. They're not assholes. They're, they're assholes. Creators. Why? Okay, I don't get why they're assholes. Like Salem I, tried to turn them against each other. They nearly had a fight, and they were like, "Oh wait, no! This this bitch is trying to this turn woman, us against each other." In her grief, in her grief and depression and sorrow, we yeah. just wanted her fucking husband back. Yeah, and to that, the gods say, "Tough shit." You know, you're not special. <laughs> Everyone dies. But the reason. You know? The reason the god of darkness turned against her is because the god of light said Salem went to him first. It's all yeah. just, it's all just like petty stuff. It's like if Luna and Celestia got along better. I, I don't, I don't even think it's that petty. I think it's just a case of, oh, okay. It's like, it's like when you go to mom to try and ask her for five bucks on Steam and she says no. When you go to dad and ask him for five bucks on Steam and dad goes, hey, did you ask mom first? What did she say? Oh yeah, she said sure. Oh well, sure. Yeah. And then mom shows up, and she's like, hang on, I said no. And then the dad is like, hey, you were lying to me? This is bullshit. And then that's where, this that's like the best analogy I can come up with for this. Yeah, except she didn't actually lie. She, um, you know, she, she, she just left didn't... that key part out, that these brothers who get yeah. along out of respect, you know, they say, you know, they're like, they agree yeah. to disagree. And they're like, okay, humans are the one thing we'll agree upon, and we'll make those, and then, like, yeah. Yeah. But then they had, they just brought him back anyway. After all that, they brought him back anyway. That's a good point. What I like, I'll have to rewind. What was the specific reason for bringing Ozpin back? I that's that okay. That is the biggest point of contention is why him. Like they didn't specify why him. I don't think they said it. Oh no! And let's actually just watch that part again. It starts only, at. He's the only person on the planet who is aware of the impending judgment that will come when all four relics are brought together. Well, I feel, I, unless I miss something, I, I thought the judgment, so to speak, was when they, like, they're not, it's not like a time limit. Like, they will be judged when they are summoned, 
If they pass the judgment, the gods come back, everything's happy, I guess. Yeah, probably why, if they fail probably why... the judgment, everyone's getting Thanos snapped again, and this time so, there's no take backsies. Um, the god of light said, a, a tragedy has befallen your world at the hands of my brother. So he's throwing the god of darkness under the bus a little. That's yeah. a good point. Like, you know, no, it's no oh, wonder yeah. nobody in Remnant is religious these days. The gods are cunts. Well, no, it's the, well, they're, they're mean, godless. The, the... They have no gods. Uh. No, no, because the fucking there's, there's there were apparently religions. They have the concept of religion for Christ's sake. It's all okay. the made up ones. But the true it, gods, it's... the brothers, the brothers Grimm. Uh. I I still feel like. It, uh, maybe what the the God of Light is talking about is that uh, it's it's my brother's fault because he left the pool of infinite evil with this person <laughs> who really hates us. <laughs> like it's almost like the Sunny in Philadelphia theme starts playing. <laughs> yeah. Did you lock Curve up the pool enthusiasm. of infinite evil? Ah oh, shit! Ah <laughs> oh, damn it! I could go back and change it. You, no, we no, already blew we already up the moon. Left. We can't come back and just take it away. That just but, makes it look weird. They could have left from the other. Other direction, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the gods were like, "Okay, this planet is an experiment. Uh, we're gonna go make a new one now, or something like that." Yeah, what? What Mankind did they go no... do? Wait, 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 wait! Aliens. Mankind is no more, yet your world remains. Yeah, the planet's there, but man and women and children. But Thanos. by the time he gets back, the humans everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, because like evolution. Yeah. In the sense that he took care of all the men, but not all the monkeys who became men. But, but that explains that... well. Not even not even men. Let's let's just here's a. I know this is gonna sound weird. Let's spitball that instead of evolution, there's this kind of faunus evolution, and men and women are just monkey faunus that have gone so far down the chain that they are now <laughs> humans. And that all the other faunus just followed a similar path into becoming like humans, except they now have the features of those animals. That's the only, like, thing that I can think of for that. Yeah, that could work. I mean... Like, they, they that... all followed this faunus evolution ex from the, the, let's say, the, the leftovers of humanity. No, I, I, I completely buy that. Like, that that's sort of, like, I have to look back at my own notes on uh, Fixing Ruby, but that's kind of, like, where I was going with it, and I'm probably going to stick so, to that. Let's, let's discuss one thing. The four children... With m different colored dresses. Yeah, that that's the uh, that is the worst in, divorce in, uh, in summer summer themed or or you know the ones with the really scary giant heads. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, that was one horrifying. Them, one of them had giant heads. It matter how, how did you, you guys fuck head? this up? Tiny Ren was adorable, and Tiny Nora was too. How did you fuck that up? <laughs> so hang on, I'm gonna go back to the children and see if they're seasoned colored, if that makes sense. Uh, they were, had very gentle colors overall. So one of them's got a blue dress. Uh, hang on. Yeah, you got green, go blue, of all of them. green, blue, brown, pink. So green, if I'm blue, so wait, so... the god of light left all four relics. So yeah, so yeah, that makes sense. Pink is spring, green is summer, brown is autumn, blue is winter. So. Bada bing, bada boom. Ozpin lied about the fucking season. No, yeah, no, d no, no doubt. I, 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 I don't, I don't blame that fact. I actually kind of believe that. Oh. Everything that, everything that Pyrrha did was a lie. Oh, you know this changes the dynamic between Ozpin and the maidens hard. Because this is why John is going to beat the shit out of him. In, in okay. a way, all the every maiden since has technically then been his daughter in a way. In a sense, so okay, that they... you're, you're, we're assuming that they're based on the maidens. They have okay, magic. So what... There are four of them. They they're color coded, yeah. and they're all they dead. also and no, they also reincarnate. Remember, oh. the oh, maiden yeah. is passed on. Depending they... on who they think of, it may be different. Sure, but it's still a form of reincarnation. Oh, for Christ's sake! Actually, that, that, like... that's an interesting mix of both Ozpin and Salem. That's bizarre, but thing. awesome. If they oh, wanted no, to. If they wanted to retcon the Maidens, having it be that Ozpin was just a big fucking liar this whole time is actually not a terrible way to do it. Like, hello? Yeah, we're yeah, listening. Uh, like, I can still hear you. Uh, unless I'm going crazy, like, 
it, I can't think of a better way to retcon shit than Ozpin has just been a scheming liar this whole time to try and keep the skeleton in his closet, so to speak. I mean, that's a that's I that's mean a, that, that's, that's a, a fine. That's, I mean, look, if all the retcons and plot holes were Ozpin's fault, that would be that would be better. But the thing that uh, makes me get thinking, <laughs> everything that Pyrrha did once becoming a maiden, sacrificing herself for the greater good. Is all because of Ozpin lying. Salem killed her daughter. <laughs> Oof. Well, she's what probably a... killed quite a few. Oh, no, no, wait, no, that wasn't Salem, that was Cinder, I keep forgetting. Cinder oh. killed Salem's daughter, and now she is Salem's daughter. <laughs> no, 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 that's awkward. So I'm glad Are, are, are you that, talking about like... Sorel's? Sorel's thing? I don't know. Oh yeah, he's what? What happened to Sorrel? He's Th now he had like a big head cannon about who Cinder and Salem were, like about the, interpreting the song "Sacrifice." Apparently, and this completely blows out his interpretation. What was his interpretation? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I, I just remember someone mentioned that it does. Yeah, that was. Yeah. That was so, uh, um, someone in a different Discord that I brought over to. Yorka has learned to live in harmony with one another. I mean, here's the thing that I almost like about Salem is that they showed Salem trying to kill herself multiple times, realizing that she's immortal now, and now she's just kind of ticking off the list of things to do in order to die. Okay, I want to talk about what the God of Light said to Ozpin. Yes, and why because this, this is the most contentious point, I think. If your kind has learned to set aside their diff... Uh, or it's learned. To, uh, hold on. Wait. What, what's the? It's then we should be whole to live in again. harmony. I'm. I'm. Look, I'm at it right it, now. Yeah. If your kind has learned to live in harmony with one another, and set aside their differences, then we shall once again be whole. But if your kind is unchanged, if you demand our blessings, while still fighting amongst yourselves, then man will be found irredeemable. Yeah. I don't like this. Particularly, okay. partially because I, I like this message. I actually think this is something that a god would do. Like it seems like godly <laughs> literature thing. I don't think but it fits I, the episode because it. But I want to complain because God, the gods, they destroyed humanity for being united against them. I know that's the thing. They 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 were in harmony. They were all on the same page. They were all working together, and that's what got them destroyed. I believe it's so the sense this, of context. Yeah, that that, uh, that 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 is okay. That is where my gripe with this comes from. Is I think it's a good message. I, I mean, I think I think that God's are trying to do good here in this circumstance. I think well, this the is just framing. The God of light. Yeah, what I think is I think the framing of this is poorly placed <laughs> because, honestly speaking, it does not align. <laughs> what the <do> floof? <laughs> floof, floof, please. Thank you, Max. Max, please, uh, Max. Which opinion are you on? Why is it, why is it mine? But no, no. Um, so. What I mean is, in this context, with, with this entire episode leading up to it, this seems to come out of the blue. It's like, wait a minute, they were united against you not like 10 minutes ago, man. What the hell are you talking about? But I think that the implication here is we are not seeing they, a bunch of would... war and stuff and that, that there's a lot of evil stuff going on that After... humanity has done. And that getting immortality was just another... Was... There was a second part to that sentence in that they want humanity united... And to stop demanding us of gifts while still fighting amongst themselves. So I so guess the fact that humanity sense. humanity was united under the context of they were demanding immortality from the gods. So they were like, uh, and then I, they, it, they 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 didn't yeah. they didn't judge humanity. They were like, okay, who put you down this path? And it was Salem who was manipulating them all to against the gods because. If they can cause an imbalance, then maybe she can get them to fight each other and maybe die. Because that's Salem's goal. Salem's goal seems that she just wants to die. In the sense that, like, she also wants to kill the gods, sure. But she she cannot die. She has ticked off the all bosses. the lists. <laughs> it's muffin time! The gods are going to be the final bosses. Oh, I don't give a shit. It makes me wonder where we go from here. Because as Jin said at the end of the episode... We straight up can't beat Salem. Nope. She there is, is just... no beating Salem. You don't know she yet. Is... Oh my god, Raymond oh, was no. right. 
<laughs> yeah, but for all the wrong reasons. Well, here's the I thing. I mean, Didn't Raven, Raven has just been know? vindicated. D was Raven, like, told? Did Ozfin, like, communicate with... Like, oh my god, that would help fix Raven so much. Yeah, it really would. Like, if, you're, if would you were told actually, literally yes. the person you were fighting cannot be beaten... But it's like, okay. like how's, how come no one's floated the idea? All right, look, we get humanity to live in peace and harmony and work together. We summon the gods, bada bing, bada boom. Salem's, we just kind of like, all right, listen, gods, we're all peaceful now. We're all loving. Can you maybe help us? I know we're not asking for your power or anything, but you kind of just left this here and it's fucking with us hard help. <laughs> all right. What? I, what? I, I'm annoyed, <sighs> so I'm going to go look up voice actors. Yeah, that's a good point. It uh, makes me see. wonder how... Because they're, they're looking for the Dragon Balls now, or the relics, you know, that are shaped of different aspects what does, of humanity. So what does Salem want the relics for? To, probably to... to oh, to uh, summon the gods. No, she wants to summon the gods. She, gods she wants yeah. to die. She wants to summon the gods, either kill them, but, or have <laughs> humanity judged with how chaotic it is, and then everyone dies. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, Eren, Dismuk, and Shannon the Corm... I didn't hear Shannon in this. I may be it wrong, but that's like the bit, that's Chase like Mc the impression I'm getting. Chase McCaskill doesn't have a huge resume, but he is in Sword Art Online abridged. Also, yeah. can we talk about how fucking cool the gods are? I'm not gonna lie. Like, okay, when they when, when they're in their animal gods forms, are, when they're in their animal I, I, forms, I, well, fine. But when they're like, I, literally, I am a dude with antlers. <laughs> I, I know, I know, dragon gods are a little overdone, but I just love the scene when they're all firing at them, and the the, the god of darkness is like, give no, just stop no, it. No, no, give it back, give it give back, it back. <laughs> give it back. It's like, hang on, where'd you get this? Did she give you this? Oh hell no! Nah. Oh uh, yeah, like, <laughs> good old Richard Norman. He's my main man. Richard Norman doing the best role in the entire episode. Frightened man. <laughs> okay, Bruce DeBose has done Borderlands 2. He's done Attack on Who was Titan. he in Borderlands 2? Uh, Marcus. Oh. I don't know who that is. Who is Marcus? Who is Marcus? So. I'm trying to... Gun salesman. Oh, good old gun salesman. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. The guy who gives you the lead in to all the DLCs. Right, Salem. Jen, Jen Tidwell. I know that name, but I can't for the life of me remember what she's done. Um. Let's see. She There's something that was an interesting caveat that might come into play later. It said, you will remain immortal and you will walk this face of the earth until Till you understand the meaning of life and death. Only then shall you rest. Uh, that's... I... Well, I mean, that okay, that's godly yeah. bullshit, but also there was like a caveat there. You will walk this face the earth while it still turns, something like that. Like, there was... They basically said, as long as this world still exists, you won't die. Oh, I think she. Oh no, she, Jen Tidwell. She's a. She's one of their animation like coordinators. Okay, and they just gave her a role. All right. Actually, they've given her a few roles. Looks like over the course of the series. So. How did they learn how to fly? <laughs> could they just do that? What, like the gods? No, Ozfin and Salem. No, I could imagine oh, they could. Oh yes, I guess. So so yeah yeah magic, yeah okay. Here? They say exactly. <laughs> they they say, as so long as this world turns, you shall walk its face. So I think her goal is basically just, look, I want to fucking die. I'm going to destroy the world. Oh, wait, does she even want to die at this point? She wants freedom, and when under the reign of a god, she will never be free. I don't know, but this kind of puts me more on Salem's side, I gotta be honest. Well, it's the thing, the, f the gods are gone. Like, Salem, let's, let's assume, I, I don't know how many X generations have passed. But let's assume, if you will, that Salem has... Well, she knows that the, the relics exist for countless generations and still hasn't been able to find them. Um, Guys, she she's knows... she's the Disney princess taken to its logical extreme. She always yeah. wants more. The, the, the idea being that the she Disney is The Disney princess is all live happily ever after. I bet that was probably... <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I bet there was probably a generation Wait, wait, of wait, Salem. explain that. Explain what you mean by that. It, it, it's the joke that, that every Disney princess just wants more, more, more. I just want more. Something like that. You know, bull, bullshit. I think, I think it's more a case of it's a human flaw of getting bored that is now spanned across immortality. Which means she's yes. probably ticked literally everything off the list. You know, she's probably been good for a generation. She's probably mm -hmm. helped a bunch of people. And then she's like, you know what? Fuck it. When am I going to die? 
I want to die now, please. I've tried seppuku. I've tried, like, stabbing myself. D just, you know what? Screw this, screw this gay earth. I'm gone. How much does Watts and the others know about all this? That's a good question. I mean... That's a good question, and what's in it All for right, them? And to be fair, this is this is the most sympathetic villain backstory I think we've gotten yet. Yeah, because I'm now on her side. Fuck the gods. I, know, I was I never know. on anyone else's side. <laughs> I mean... All right, all right, look. Just fuck this gay earth. I, I, Destroy it. Like, I, I've been saying in that sense, volume three. I am, one. <laughs> I am sort These... of... I am sort of on... I'm sort of still on Ozpin's side, but like, like, in in the same way that I do anything political these days, I I kind of agree with what you're saying, but at the same time, you do so much shady shit, I don't want to work with you. <laughs> yeah, like it's all uh, in the context. Ozpin's, yeah, Ozpin's a weird pussy guy. He's like, oh no, I don't want to be. I, I got a mission from the gods. I'm not gonna do it. Like, like he wants to make world peace. <laughs> then just. Work at making. Don't sit behind a desk as a fucking professor. What the shit are you doing, dude? I mean, just fu yeah. dude, just fuck your demonic wife. Literally solves everything. Yeah, just guys, <laughs> you guys just need a good old hate no. fuck. That's all you guys need right now. It's a no. good let's, old let's hate fuck. Let's think about it. Pira and Nikos died because some demonic cunt centuries ago got denied a good dicking. No, that's that's not that's not how this goes. Yeah. I, I I don't think. They, you know, I they, think they, it is they, a falling they, they out of ideology. They shown that lifetime. They, they shown that Salem and Ozpin had <laughs> one lifetime together, and that, that they had kids. Uh. They were able to raise them up, and then Salem. They they went down this path of being gods for a while. Like, okay, now we can guide humanity in order to go. Ozpin agreed to it because his mission was to guide humanity into peace and prosperity. But Salem wanted to guide humanity through fear and tyranny and stuff like that. So that's where the conflict of freedom and tyranny sort of coexist. You know, the whole lawful good versus chaotic evil. Oh, no, lawful evil, I should say. And then um, and then they, it just got to a point where Ospin was like, hang on, we, I can't do this anymore. I am rejecting everything that God, the whole reason I'm here right now, told me to do. I had one job. <laughs> and um, I ignored him. So that's where it happens, and I I love the scene where he's like on the ground. It's like Salem, I, <laughs> and he's just dead. And yeah, that was <laughs> fucking awesome. Oh, that, that was, was hilarious. I love it. That was, um, that's good shit. I, it's kind of weird. I think we have like the full spectrum here. We have one person that hates it, one person that's just mildly upset with Max, it. Max, please weigh in. <laughs> yeah, break this tie, goddamn. No, it. he's the memer. Are, he's the memer. He needs to remain neutral. So no, he can just no, make no, the no, 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 the time for that is passed. Max, I want your opinion right we now. We need the memer to break the tie. On, on what? <laughs> Do you approve of this? Oh. Approve of this episode. Thing? This episode. The whole this story. Episode, I thought it was like really. Eh. God damn it! <laughs> Yay! Wait, so who, who, who likes it? Who likes it and who hates it? Because hey, I, I'm in the I'm in the acceptable camp. I hate it. Camp. Hate I'm it. in the. Ex I I am I am uh, in the I. It. I can pull good from this. I can accept it. Yeah. This is a decent I, I villain see... motivation, and that's all I was really looking for at this point. And it's it, not a case. All right. it's, it's not a case. And it of helps me not... so much with fixing Ruby because now I know what the fuck happened thousands yeah. of years ago. So I understand no. how this world fucking works. Thank you, Ruby. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't know how this world works. You don't know what a semblance is. You don't know where Aura came from. And that's a like, good like thing. The yeah. things I in like the world that... that matter were not answered by this, by by yes, this story. Because that's it's not just what this is no, do. Because now I have mo the... villain motivation. Okay. I needed that. Okay, Fat Man. This wasn't the whole explanation of the entire history of the planet. This was okay. What is Ozpin hiding? Yeah, and he I, was hiding that. I, I honestly yeah. semblances, uh, faunus, they can all come from a completely different other story or something. And, and I'm fine but with this that because, like, sense. Batman, my biggest complaint with your your style is you need immediate explanations of several things. What the? F I, I keep getting subscriptions. Um, the the because I, I hear it through the OBS flex, but okay because I, I <laughs> weird flex for, I I hear it through my OBS like I I like I have the chime from Streamlabs <laughs> that hits me up every time I try to like to stop it I don't know how I stop it um but no basically like you need like immediate explanations when a lot of times a story just needs to breathe and Ruby has a lot of failings not explaining certain things 
But I where be... aura and semblance come from can be something completely unrelated yeah. to whatever the fuck is going on no, with this. No, my problem with not getting an explanation on aura and semblance is that th those things could explain away all the nonsense. So the fact that people aren't, like, logical uh, enough to, like, guess that these people that are doing magic are just using semblances but, is Ray ridiculous. Raymond, listen. There, like, are, there are a lot of things that you let the story like, breathe for. Fundamental aspects of how the world works should not be one of them. Okay, I agree that it should be explained at some point. I am glad they did not cram all of that and try and say, oh, Ozpin has dark secret. They already crammed so fuck. This needed to be a two-parter. They crammed well, yeah, so no, that's the point. I don't, like, this I, was, like, I, no, this okay, was okay, focused so, in just explaining who Ozpin and Salem are. And that is okay. And I, I'm no, glad this, that this, I'm this glad idea. that Ospin's deep dark secret is that he somehow figured out how semblances yeah, work. One, that one of the things that I'm very happy with this volume so far that I, I I can see them doing is that they are not spreading this shit out over a long period of episodes and just letting shit hang. They're not just inserting scenes and then dropping them like you had with uh, 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 that weird moment in volume five where. Uh, Crow comes into the room and says, we need to talk to, 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 to Oscar and says, we need to talk. And then it's never brought up again that episode. No, each Look. each episode so far has been solely focused on one point of interest. Yeah, yeah. Things, episode, things are happening in the episode. Episode now, one, which is, which episode is one is the train. Episode two was the confrontation about the Jin and focus on Cinder getting herself back up. Episode three episode is now all about Salem and Ozpin. I'm hoping this trend continues because it, this isolated way of telling the story in a much yeah. larger span is way healthier for the show. Listen, I, I get that they've wasted enough of our time, and I appreciate the fact that they've realized they've wasted enough of our time. That said, they still crammed way too much shit into this episode, and they need to spread it out. I don't think they did. I think they, I they, mean, they did. How long was this episode? 26 minutes? 26 minutes, and it still felt too crammed. I don't think they crammed too much into this episode. All right, I'll stand alone on really this. Crammed as much yeah. as like, like, here's the thing. This is so much your, shit your happening for once in Ruby. Your complaints is, is that you want more, and they will maybe give us more, maybe in the future. Who knows? I don't, I'm know, not a I don't know if my argument is necessarily that they, they give me but more. No, I, I, I'm not... Wanting, that's not necessarily my argument. I, I guess in practical terms, my argument is that I want more, but, like, in more... Fucking Disney Effective princess. Terms. I, <laughs> Fat man I, I is don't Salem. understand yeah. that metaphor. Uh, in in more practical terms, like I don't understand hu humanity. I don't I don't understand humanity. I don't understand why anyone wants it saved. Uh, like, repeat that last bit. I don't why understand why wants anyone saved. wants humanity saved. I don't understand why Ozpin wants, wants humanity it saved. Because, saved because we're one of the idiots that live in it. Yeah, because we're kind we're of... We're not. Like, Fuck there em. is good in the world. Like, it's I, not like... Isn't that the... It's, isn't that the... But the I, whole, don't, I don't see it. The whole point it. is that this is a... I <laughs> like, mean, it's... I think it's based on, like, they're trying to... They're, they're, tr they're trying to presuppose our sympathies. But this is, like, two generations of, like, non-humans that are all weird racists. It's like, yeah, I don't this care. Is... I want this world destroyed. I'm on Salem's side 100%. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, you know what? Why I'm did on she wait? Now, fuck it. Why did she wait this long? Like, so this happened thousands of, of years ago. Oh God, it's Austin Team Frostbite Civil War. Several generations. Yeah, this is Civil War. Yeah. And I, I, I feel, why, feel, honestly, I feel like I'm in fucking Bizarro World right now with you two. Why? <laughs> because this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> I feel like it makes enough sense. Like Same. the reason why they don't want humanity to be destroyed is because they're fucking humans and they exist. Yeah, like, it's not that th it, they're it's in a simple godless self like, preservation. Of... That's what this is. Yeah, but that's the humans, not husband. <laughs> the humans have proven themselves to be too easily corruptible by themselves, not by the gods. And the gods have put them in some kind of timeout mode, and they're like, okay, but you it was can the call powers... us back any time you want. However. If you are not ready to, like, be cool with each other, for fuck's sake, then, yeah, like, actually, you, I understand why they would want to save I humanity. I just had a thought. I would love it yeah. if Ozpin turns evil in this when he realizes, wait, if her immortality is dependent upon the world still existing, 
if I destroy the world and we all die, I can live happily ever after with her in the afterlife. But that's the opposite of what's going on right now. No, but he, yeah. he hasn't realized that part yet. Humans are fallible. I don't think that's where they're going to go. I don't think that's where they're going to go with it. I, I don't think it's where they're um, taking it. I don't, I don't think that's where yeah. they're going to take it. But I really like, like this because it's gonna, it's gonna, this oh, is obviously going to build up into the scene where Jean figures out, hey, my girlfriend died because you gave her a bunch of bullshit and lied to her. <laughs> You, you like, wanted a surrogate make... daughter figure, so but she had parents, and you didn't know that. Yeah, Does she like... have parents? No one knows that she has They're parents. They're already out of... She has parents. <laughs> totally. They, they, like, branded the <laughs> shit here's, out of here's, I'm predicting that this is going to turn into... This is going to... The, the gods are going to be the final villains. This is going to turn into a Xenoblade Chronicles situation. By the way, if you haven't played it, you should probably close out the video now so that I don't spoil <laughs> you. This is going to turn into a Xenoblade Chronicles situation where in the end they're just going to go, you know what? I'm going to go fight God. Okay, look, that's I like every like... JRPG on the planet. I mean, if I Final Fantasy... If I uh... to... Yeah, but Xenoblade's a special case. So. Then there's Xenogears. Don't, don't forget about Xenogears. Never played Xenogears, so I don't care. If, if I had to throw my hat into the future, I'm going to say, and I know this is going to sound stupid, that a controversial third entity is going to be there. Because the the god stated that until Salem learns the, the value of life and death, uh, she ain't going to die. So she needs to self-sacrifice herself in some way to save someone from a third entity or something. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm actually, like, that's, I'm that's liking the that theory. Way. I'm liking that theory. That, that's, this is just purely a theory of, because if Salem can't be killed by literally any means, even by the relics, even by the maidens, she is immortal then how are they going to deal with this situation? And me just throwing my mind into the future, that's... I don't know. But I, I liked this episode. I, I thought it was I. Yeah. And being the smartest man in the universe, uh, my opinion counts for times three, you guys. For, so. for, okay. for, <laughs> for once... Oh, that's fair. I guess for Ninja once, did break the tiebreaker. For, for once, I, I agree with Ninja about him being super smart. In this co in this circumstance... Haha. <laughs> I wanna re I'm gonna take that recording and I'm just gonna have it on a button uh, so I can play it in the future. <laughs> Whenever re me and Raymond are arguing, I'm just gonna push that button. And says, you know what? I agree with Ninja. He's super smart. <laughs> in this circumstance, I have the full audio, bitch. Do not test me on this. <laughs> so, so he's saying, Ozpin, uh, 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 purple shirt, Ozpin is saying, how do I destroy Salem? Not how do I stop Salem? Why, why him? Like he probably can't. Yeah, I think that's Salem. a short-sighted question like, on his part. How to destroy Salem? Well, yeah. here's the thing. Didn't they mention that? How how do I destroy Salem? That's not a question about the past, which is that something that's like the. I thought the whole point of this relic is that it can't tell you the future, and if I they mean, haven't, that that yeah. that makes me think that the the reason why the answer was you can't is because they haven't found a way to do it yet, because that would consequent as the future. I don't know. Maybe that's weird, but the um the thing that that's got me growing, uh, kind of running around with the lore of the sort of the story that's kind of bothering me is the the evolution of seeing Ozpin like going through his different lives and the technological advancement that comes with it. It seems like technology really hasn't aged beyond what it's it not was. Even like because like like, I mean, like Ozpin, literally saw, the second we saw, guy like... we see him be Ozpin. Like we just scroll back a little bit here. Um, the first guy we had didn't he didn't he go through like four lives? So let's say that's four hundred years. Yeah, but like the, by the second guy is already wearing like modern clothing, and then yeah. the third guy uh, transforms into Mister IT Techman, um, with glasses and everything. Uh, so it's like, where does technology sit in this universe? Uh, like, 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 it's just, it's kind of bothering me, like, the weird flux. It feels like it's one of those fantasy worlds where technology just never fucking goes forward anyway. Because, like, they have magic to explain it. But this why, isn't... Why use swords you ever... when you can use a gun? Have you ever seen the Nerd Rider video about dragons in Game of Thrones? No, what? It's amazing. It, it's, oh, wait, it's is that, is that, the, is that the, is that the one video. where they talk about how dragons basically destroy everything? Uh, kind of. They're talking about how dragons basically destroyed the economy because back in the day you needed, you know, you needed to build cannons to tear down walls. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. Once yeah. that happened, you couldn't just hide behind walls anymore. You needed to build an army to fight, you know, you know, to fight wars, and that yeah. in, it needed tax collection, so that needed more government, that needed more organization. But when it's not like cannons, when it's dragons. 
the only thing you can do is pledge fealty to the people who already have the dragons. So that's why technology stagnated in Game of Thrones. They never had to expand the government to get, you know, more tax collection. So there was yeah. no, less of an economy. So they never actually developed any technology. I mean, in this sense, technology has been replaced by the, the schnee dust, you know, the crystals. I guess because that, yeah, that's, really that's where the real all, yeah is. yeah because but, uh, I don't yeah, I think I guess, I guess that's another story to do as well. So. Yeah, yeah, like didn't Salem in episode one of I am full of salt. All right, I, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. We'll get. We might get touched on semblance this semblance and or aura this volume, but what I'm thinking is next volume since we're going to be in Atlas, we're going to touch upon dust. I think we're going to, next volume, we're going to have basically a oh, deep yeah, dive in the dust. Get some dust. So before we end the video, whatever we do, there's still two points I want to bring up. So but you guys keep talking, but there's before we end. Yeah. The and then so there's, the and then I think the volume so, after that will get semblance and or aura. Maybe. Who knows? I, I wouldn't be, I don't know. It's, it's, for me, it's not like Ruby fails if it doesn't give me all of this lore information. It, it gives me enough so far for me to watch it. Um, or so uh, failed because say, it gave us all this lore information. So Salem says say, man is born from dust in episode one. Yes. She says man born from dust was strong, wise, and resourceful. Yep. So like, what is that? Like, Well, maybe we'll go into the so origins they just, of humanity. They destroyed humanity and then humanity just sort of came back. From dust. I mean, from I, dust. I, I mean, I have a slight idea. <laughs> You guys saw the moon exploding. Maybe that's where. That's, maybe that's what. That's dust one is. of the points I want to bring up. So we maybe, got. We know why the moon the blew fucking, up now. Yeah, we know why the moon blew up. I was <laughs> yeah, right. The it moon was, blew it was shown up in the because intro. the gods just flew through it. Like because God fuck. said, "Fuck you!" Now you, there's no humans Does, left, so we can just completely destroy the fucking lunar. <laughs> so was ocean the humans, waves are now flooding half the world. Fuck it. So dust in combinance with the remnants of humanity humans were formed and started to evolve and for the record the way i think it would work is that if, if the moon gets closer to the planet or gains mass that's when the waves become more powerful if you destroy parts of the moon you weaken its gravitational field so the waves would actually stagnate hmm. no it's 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 like the waves wouldn't stagnate you'd still well, have the i should point out that Arnold it'd be weaker why right? i mean, I should point out that mur that murder yeah, just posted a poll saying, you know, where do you stand on episode three? Three hundred eighty-seven votes, and the highest one at forty-two percent is the gods are savage as fuck. So. Well, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th 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 there's there's no here's this here's the thing that I like that they've avoided. I I hate it when media says, "Oh, the gods are the good guys." You know, the gods are should not even be compared to our morality because they are just extra planar beings. Yeah. You were just like, okay, well, you've been ungrateful. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I just, I just want to point out that my, uh, my in, my uh, team, sorry, it's my uh, Ruby Infinite I F N T, way more relevant yeah. now than I, I ever hoped it would be. So everyone starts sharing that around. I think that's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna need to go back and look at some of the stuff they said about the Grim because I, I, I always thought that Salem controlled the Grim, but that didn't uh, seem to be the case. I, uh, like, that's what Raven said. Well, maybe because Salem. When... Maybe, I think Salem. So, I think uh, Salem probably because God left, so they fuck it. I guess. I guess she took up command of the Grim. My yeah, point we... being is that, like before, when when Salem was just a wicked witch in the middle of the forest, the Grim were still invading and cutting people to pieces. Yeah, we still have so much like conflicting information. Yes, and it's like, but like. See, like, World of Remnant be just becomes a really big problem. Yeah, because I've stopped. They're obsolete. The misinformation yeah. in the show is, like, canon? So then what the fuck is World of Remnant? Obsolete. So, so the is. way I, I, I look at this is that, like, there are differing sources within the show that are all trying to do have their own agenda that skew the truth. Ozpin has been lying pretty frequently about everything telling half truths yeah. just enough that people will do what he wants them to do with the information they he needs them to have that makes sense to me he's kind of a manipulative fuck jin is an, a relic that is meant to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and so whatever she says is she though because jins are kind of assholes yes but at this point well, she is the were, highest the authority of truth that we have yeah. present even ozpin admits so and so, yeah. the, but the that's relics... not saying much because jinns are assholes. Yes. Why didn't but no, he but want they the story that the relics told. were formed of aspects of humanity, and that the jinn or 
the girl's name is Jin. Doesn't mean she's a Jin. She's just like a spirit. She but came like, out of a lamp. It doesn't mean much. Yes, I know she what they're going literally for. Literally, no. She could be a, an allusion to a Jin. She doesn't grant wishes. Point. Point being, I know that's what they're referencing. But she should just we be ask for more something. questions? Like the. Gotta love Nora. What I'm trying to say, you may you maybe lose my train of thought. God damn it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Just fuck you and all those <laughs> stupid, ungrateful people. If I could snap and get rid of you two that's right the, now, just be me and Raymond. Be, be the me and Raymond show. We'd rock it. Oh, We'd yeah. Rock it. Donate to charity. So, if way, those, so, so, because go back to those four daughters for a second. If there, one of you guys brought up that there are allusions to the four Ruby girls. No, th- th- no I, 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 I said it's possible. I don't see that at all. I, not illusions. I, I know. I, I know. I'm not saying that it is for definite, but I'm just gonna say if it turns out they are, you are all dirty motherfuckers. Especially you bumblebee shippers. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, because right. they'd all be sisters. No, they wouldn't be sisters. The idea. I'm kidding. You're, you're... I'm kidding. No, that's like I'm saying kidding. that's like saying that all humans are related I'm to one another. I'm kidding. It was a funny. I had to make some kind of funny this video. <laughs> oh, I see. I. Oh, I don't nice. actually mean that's, it. That's a yes. good one. Let's hang, let's Ha-ha. antagonize bumblebee shippers in the name of. Comedy. I deserve something good. Meanwhile, bum, uh, uh, enabler shippers are feeling vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> As they should. Be. So, uh, as no. once again, our, our detailed analysis is led to the end by shipping. Uh, <laughs> hope that you all well, well, I enjoyed still watching. Point. I still have one more point, and this is oh, not really God. so much a point on the episode as it is just a little literary thing. Um, Ozma is a character in the Wizard of Oz series, uh, not in the first book that became the movie that everybody loved. She came in later. Uh, cool. And her character is described as like the most powerful magic user in all of Oz. Um, this 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 what, what the point I'm bringing is like that doesn't this doesn't matter to anybody else, but it kind of matters to me. Ozma's a woman, oh. and they made yeah. her male for this, and I just bugs the shit out of me. That's all I want. Dude, they say they on. play fast oh. and loose with genders all the time. I know, Oz but pin, it bugs the know? shit out of me. Yeah. Blake literally translated means man, so you oh, really? know. Oh wow, okay. You know, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, oh, what's this? <laughs> well, Yang isn't disappointed. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, especially since he's gone lefty. Um, no. Um, so Jesus overall, <laughs> overall, I I like the episode. We had two naysayers. We have uh, Brit. Being right for once. Um, <laughs> what do you mean for once? I'm always to, right. To, to quote from my Volume 5 Part 3 video, there is no middle finger big well, enough. But, like, like, didn't... Yeah, didn't Ozpin lie and shit? Like, what happened in Volume 5? I, yeah, I mean, because, you know, uh, to... Well, um, volume 5 like, didn't happen. It, <laughs> to make defense of... No, Volume 5 is the happenedest volume they have. <laughs> So here's a question. I know we're wrapping up, so I guess I'll ask it after we, we cut off, or unless we want to use this as the post show. I don't know. I, I, but, uh, well, I don't going Raymond's going to so there is no post There is no post show. Yeah. This is all um, raw. Like, uh, to, you know, to play devil's advocate for this episode, I do like that they made, you know, that Ozpin has, like, been canonically lying to everyone. But I don't like that all of, like, because people have told, have, you know, made the point, right, in the past that um we don't know that all of these things like they they've essentially I've essentially heard this point before that Ozpin is um or that uh, the the exposition is in- intentionally fishy wait um, wait wait which wait is, wait okay so we've been we've been theorizing about the scene that was cut from volume 5 could this have been what was what cut was that no, here's the thing, because he said... No, there wasn't... It wasn't I don't, was there a scene cut or was there a character no, cut? but there was a character that was cut from volume yeah. five. Right. I'm wondering yeah, if true. Jin was it. No. I, mean, I, I don't. Mean, yeah, to be fair, that was the season where they introduced they the relic. they didn't get that relic until the very end of the season. Yeah. Well, they know. would have gotten the relic. Yang would have, like, shaken up a bit and said, like, oh, hey, there's fucking genie inside here. I don't think so. Because he said it would be I obvious, and it's like, well, if she had been in here... It would have basically been a plot dump at the it's end of the It's either Jin or the old lady. 
Uh, no, I'm, I was thinking because uh, Pamela, you were saying it was the the Little uh, Miss Roma Spider Lady. It's very possible y- yeah, it was Little that, Miss because that 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 was them like yeah, guarantee that, she would show. That's the one that makes sense. Like that's the one yeah. that's like, oh, she was in because um, she, well, she's one. the well, she's the character they were teasing in the board game, so hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, we've talked we've talked long enough. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I think overall to, to play de- devil's advocate for this video um or i mean this episode i like that ozpin's a liar i do appreciate that i like i appreciate that ozpin is you know a dishonest piece of shit um but me being an intellectual i have always known ozpin was full <laughs> of shit and this didn't do anything to make his actions or Salem's actions make any more sense. Like it makes the exact same amount of sense. These are the things that I presupposed. Yeah, nothing's to really make the from learning first this. five volumes like watchable at all. So th- th- this is like okay, okay, this is all stuff like literally stuff that I have it's already projected onto the show. Yeah, it's more. But that doesn't that make is, it any this better. This reasons behind the grand mission of finding the relics now. Like we actually know what the fuck we're fu- looking for and what the fuck we're trying to find for these relics. But, but, we, but we don't know why for the relics. Yeah, but we, we didn't know why. We were just trying to find we, them. We still don't. I mean, we still we still don't actually know why. Ozpin and Salem. Yeah, why, is, uh, why would Ozpin want them? No, because Salem's yeah, because going for know, like, he, I think right like, now okay. it's all about Yeah, but as soon as he puts them but as soon as he puts them all together and puts them in one room, isn't that when the gods show up? Yep. Ozpin needs people to work in Ozpin needs people to work in harmony. Like c- correct? So then why did he divide the world when he had the chance? Why did he divide divide up the relics? Be like, no, this one's yours, this one's yours, th- don't give them to anyone else. Like, why did he do that? When he could have yet, but it like is it that it, it, the, it, it's still going against what you're the right. oh, I, I, see what, I see what yeah. I see what you're going for, and that not much time has passed between distributing the relics and now trying to. It, it doesn't matter them. if it's not time yet. His goal is still to bring humanity together, not tear it apart. Yeah, it well, doesn't honestly, matter if it's like year five hundred or year twenty five. With how with how good these last episodes have been, I'm. And this scene is obviously going to end with Team Ruby turning to Ozpin and going like, Hey, what the fuck was that? And then Ozpin's going to have to explain his side of the story now and maybe answer some of these questions we're bringing up. So, if it somehow knows. makes it his fault, because I'm still not convinced it was his fault. I don't think it, I don't think it has to be his fault. Yeah, I, I, I think... I, I don't really think it's I think that the big thing is fault. that he saw himself in a bad situation and has done... A few yeah. stupid, some not stupid, but like dishonest and kind of shady things in order to try and fulfill a goal that is honestly beyond a mortal man to accomplish. They also, and he is still sort of kind of a mortal man to some degree. Yeah. They also sort of explain why he's still a shitty person. Because, like, as soon as he reincarnated after Salem killed him, he, he spent like a good three lifetimes just getting back onto his feet. And now this is like the the fourth or fifth lifetime now. Where, no, uh, no, he's been like, like, we're, no, he's we're been like walking the right world for thousands of years, unless that was a lie. See, like we can't trust well, anything Osman says. We don't know anything. We can't trust anything yeah, anyone well, we says. We basically just learned the thing I already knew is that all of the previous volumes don't matter. Like we don't have any information from those previous volumes that we can trust. The. the like everything Ozpin said to anyone, which has been everything, is not canon. Well, no, it's it's canon that he said it. It's just all, that, all right, that's, all right. Look, true. the way that 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 Ruby seems to work, and this is the way that I've been structuring it with fixing Ruby, is that there's always two plots going on. There's the plot focusing around Ruby, her team, and all the the interpersonal struggles and all the things going on. That's Most that's yeah, adventure. that's what. You know, volumes one through three were built to establish. Volume four, it, I I I'm saying that from the speculative form, assuming <laughs> yeah. they tried. They tried. They tried. <laughs> they tried. That's what they were going for. They didn't. They they fucked it up mostly, but I think they they tried, and there were some points they succeeded. Volume four onward 
has been building into switching over to the second story that's been brewing in the background that's all about the maidens about the uh, uh, uh all about the the relics all about the gods about salem and ozpin it's finally switching tracks onto that and i think this is the biggest turning point where finally the heroes that we have built up through these last six volumes are finally in the know of what the fuck is going yeah. on and are now able to react to it and interact with that plot directly so the big question is how they handle that going forward from here will shape the story in its entirety at this point um so i think that's that's the big point here i think that's what we're going what we're seeing yeah I'm it, it's sort of like so, it's sort of like all right here's the thing um all for one or one for all for one did not show up until fucking season three of my hero academia it doesn't mean he wasn't doing shit. It just means that the first two seasons of My Hero Academia were all about building up the characters, their interactions, and getting them to the point where they needed to be. Again, yeah, if only Ruby had done yeah, that. My Hero, <laughs> yeah. I say this: My Hero Academia is still better than Ruby. I'm not, I'm not denying that, but I'm just saying that <laughs> I see what Ruby has been trying to do, and it's funny that I think yeah, it's structure. it's been trying to do this from the start, and I think it is disingenuous not to acknowledge that. But at the same time, we yeah. can still criticize it for not doing it successfully. But I think trying to deny that it's been trying to do that is is very, very dishonest and very unfair to it. I'm just happy that uh, it's getting more yes, focused. Yes, yes. When it's more focused, I can almost ignore things that go... I'll still criticize it, of course, but I can almost ignore because I'm not bored while watching it. If it's more focused and I'm actually like interested in the shit I'm seeing, like... Yeah, what? it had my, that episode. Even though there were points of contagion, we're bringing Ozpin back. It still had my, what's the word, attention. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it 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 yeah. had me. This episode still had me. That's more than I can say for all of Volume Five. Oh, most of Volume Four, or at least half of Volume Four, I should say. I hated both of those volumes. Um, but yeah, we we I think we have talked. This is going on to like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, now. Brit Uni Unicorn. If you watch this far, my offer still stands. All of a sudden, with a thing, hold on, you can't just the, do that. Just for... This episode confirmed every presupposition I took into all five of my volume reviews, which is not a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so I guess. Oh, well, the, okay, the if anybody way... doesn't like my volume reviews after watching this episode, they're wrong. They're watching <laughs> Ruby wrong. Yeah. So Everyone should go back to my volume reviews and be like, yeah, that guy. <laughs> In the comments of this video, you guys will need to pick a side, whether you're Team uh, Ray Ninja or if you're Team uh, Fat yeah. Tom. Uh, you know, <laughs> Fat wait Tom. a minute! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Don't blame me, blame the names. <laughs> Fuck you! I, 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 you chose your alliance. Uh, okay. okay, no, no, we got, we got better names for this. We have... Um, Team, uh, what are, what are the islands actually called for Britain in, in Ireland? I, I, I guess, United I Kingdom. guess just like Team UK and uh, Team Coast to Coast. <laughs> okay, that's better. That's better. That's, that's way that's better. That's awesome. That's way so better. So Team UK, Team Coast to Coast, hashtag it down below in the comments. Um, yeah. Don't forget to check Who's out each and every single one of our Patreon pages uh, and every single one of our channels, which will all be linked down below, as well as one more thing. my new book uh, and uh, whatever Brit's about to say. Uh, this isn't. This is just something that's important to me because I have a lot of friends who live down in California, as well as our good buddy Fat Man. Uh, the fires of California have wreaked havoc and destruction, and uh, there's going to be a link in the description where if you're oh, feeling right, very yeah. generous in helping out some people, you can throw some money their way and help out a couple lives. Yeah, you have, you have to throw me that link. I'll put it yeah. down for you guys. We yeah, are, yeah, we, I, we I got it be... in. I got it in general, but I can post yeah. it again. Just message, yeah. message me. Message me. It would be easier. For yeah, me. yeah. yeah. That's all I wanted to say. All right. Uh, yeah, no, that's... Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. This has been a fun, interesting... A fun and interesting episode, everyone. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Shout out to every single one of our lovely patrons. Remember, if patroning $1 or more to any one of our patrons, will get you into our Discord server, the Team Frostbite Tundra. Um, that's, I think, about it. Uh, next week, we'll be back on Fat Man's channel. 
and catch you all on the flip side. Eh, see y'all later. Yeah, bye. Yep. <laughs> you guys are so grumpy. Who, who the fuck let the Grinch and the Grunch in here? We were having a good season, damn it.